Hi and welcome back to another session from the Air Users blog and I'm just going to quickly show you another trick it's a, a nice riff that was around a couple of years ago in the charts and it's this one at the start of Goes Around Show you how he gets that. What he bas what what he's basically doing here is he's got a couple of uh, couple of parts, and it's a sitar type sound. So if you get expand two, and you open up an, an instance of expand two, what you want to do is you want to have two channels open. You want to have the sitar and the gentle sitar, which are in the ethnic section, section twenty, of of uh, of expand. So you've got part A and part B, and I fiddled with them a bit and got the sound right with the, with the cutoff frequency and stuff like that. So if I just play you this again, this loop, and uh, just play you that. Let's just mark that area up and just loop that for a second. So what we did first is I've, I've played the first part in, just to give you an idea. There we go. But if you listen to the one that he's got on his track, there's two parts to it. So what I've then done is copied that part down, and if you listen now, the next thing we want to do as well is we want to go back in here. We want to make sure that the second part, the second sitar, is tuned down by an octave. And what we want to do as well is just change the format a bit up to there. Now the next thing we want to do as well, to make it sound really authentic, so if we go back to his as well, is that what he's got in there is tiny variations of pitch bend going on, which is what would happen on a real sitar. You'd have that kind of just, just slight deviations of pitch. So what you want to do is you want to open, drop down this drop down here, this arrow here, go to pitch bend, and this is a good exercise for you to get used to using some of the MIDI features. Go to the pencil mode, and then make sure you've got it open quite high, because if you don't, you don't want to do this, if you do this, you're going to end up with this. But what you want to do is just draw in just some tiny variations, especially here where that part happens there. You want to do that on both parts as well. So you want to go in here and you want to come down to pitch bend. And we want to open that window back up as well, nice and big. So let's close that one down a bit. So we've now got that in there. Because if you close that down to its normal size, you'll see it virtually looks like nothing's happened. But if we open it up so we can draw some various, some tiny little variations in pitch bend there into that part. There we go. Drop the old one out now for a second. Let's grab that, delete that out for a second. So we're going to grab that. And what I've also also done as well is I've worked out the time of the track. It's 76 BPM using tap time. And I'm going back in again now. The final thing you need to do as well to make it uh, sound like the track as well is the pan is they're panned quite heavily left and right to give you that. On that first sitar as well, we want to make sure as well. The second one, sorry, we want to go into that again and we want to turn the release right down. So there we go. That's how you get the goes around style sitar part that's at the start of that track. That's a quick tip, a bit of fun. I hope that's a help. It might not appear in any of your songs, but at least you've got some ideas and some tricks up your sleeve now for when you're trying to do some decent riffs in your songs. Thanks.